Hi everyone, Stefan Harvin here, Iron Direct Primary Care. Today I'm going over my results for my metabolomics test by Genova Diagnostics. It's a pretty cool test. It's known as an organic acid test. And this is basically a nutritional status. So we're going to go through this and try to figure it out because it's pretty complex. Um, here it gives you kind of an overview. I'm pretty much in the green, so I'm doing all right. I did go over, uh, I had a consult with Genova Diagnostics and I went through some of this with me. Um, basically, I'm doing okay. We'll start out with the antioxidant status. You can show here that I'm mostly in the green on all these things. They show the suggested recommendations of how much of this stuff you should get in daily. Uh, vitamin A, I'm maxed out on this one, probably from all the beef liver I consume. Vitamin C, I'm good on that one too. Surprise, right? I don't actually consume a lot of uh, vitamin C purposefully. Um, I don't really supplement with it. Uh, CoQ10 is pretty good. Um, I should be getting more of that. I'm incorporating a, a few more organ meats now. I know beef heart has more of that in there. My glutathione, the body's master antioxidant, I'm maxed out on that one too. And plant-based antioxidants, I'm somehow maxed out on that one, although I consume essentially no plants at all. Thiamine, doing great. I don't understand why it's showing that I'm low in B2. Because, you know, that's found in eggs, fish, beef liver, and somehow, like, I'm low in this. This must be a false. Um, Cobalamin, B12, folate, doing our minerals. So magnesium, uh, kind of low in that one. And we'll get into the, more of why of that later. I believe this is true. Manganese as well. Other than that, I'm doing great. Molybdenum and zinc. Digestive support, my microbiome looks pretty good as far as this urine test can tell because this was basically a first morning void urine test. Um, and here it gives me kind of a nutritional breakdown of what I might need to supplement with. And it's kind of suggesting glycine. And that one I don't really understand well because I do take collagen supplements. I take collagen peptides every day. And I think there's glycine in my collagen. And I'll have to look at that again. Uh, I'm good on everything else though. You know, tryptophan. Uh, I like this one. I love that it points out tryptophan, right? Precursor to serotonin, right? Patients with low tryptophan, um, they're not going to produce enough serotonin. And we know that serotonin is the happy molecule. That's what we use in psychiatry, give people antidepressants to artificially build up more serotonin in their brain. But the precursor to all that is tryptophan. So, you know, nutritionally, we should always optimize uh, tryptophan if we have a depressed or anxious patient. Antioxidant needs, so it's very cool. It kind of breaks down, you know, uh, what it is, why you need it, symptoms of deficiency, right? So vitamin A deficiency, um, may result in night blindness, impaired immunity. Uh, we all, we know all that. Uh, vitamin C, we know all about that one. It looks like I, I'm maxed out on all of these. CoQ10. Let's see. Low levels may aggravate oxidative stress, diabetes, cancer, cognitive. Really, all these are important. Glutathione, the master antioxidant, I'm doing great on that one too. And the plant-based antioxidant, somehow I'm doing great on that. I'm not sure how. Um, riboflavin, see again, I, pff, it beats me. I don't understand why I'd be low on this. I, it has to be a false positive somehow because it doesn't make any sense. Pyridoxine, B6, could do better on that one too. Magnesium, yes, low on this one. And I think that's because I drink coffee. So since I got this test, I've been supplementing with magnesium, 500 milligrams of magnesium. Uh, glycinate every day, I've been taking it because I'm not gonna stop coffee. But at least I limit myself to one coffee, one espresso in the morning. You know, I put my collagen peptides in there too and I just make sure I'm taking in a magnesium as well. And hopefully I can you know, replace some of the magnesium that I'm lost, you know, that I'm losing, because coffee depletes magnesium. Manganese as well. Critical, important role in antioxidant function, gluconeogenesis, urea cycle, cartilage and bone formation, energy production, digestion. So impaired absorption of manganese may occur with excess intake of iron, calcium, copper, folic acid, or phosphorus compounds. Hmm, okay. Deficiency may result in impaired bone connective tissue growth, glucose and lipid dysregulation, infertility, oxidative stress, inflammation, hyperammonemia. 
Okay. Food sources include whole grains, legumes, dried fruit, nuts, darky green leaf vegetables, liver, I do that at least, kidney, and tea. So I am doing more kidney. That's why I was eating raw kidney the other day, trying to make up for the low manganese that I had. You may have seen that video on my YouTube channel. Microbiome and digestive support. So this isn't their microbiome analysis. They have the GI effects. It's a comprehensive test. It's kind of expensive, but it looks at your stool. Right? Let's look at my urine. So I'm not sure how accurate it is at looking at your microbiome, but it's showing that I'm doing pretty well with my microbiome support. My digestive support enzymes are kind of in the mid-range. So it's saying here, pancreatic enzymes are secreted by the excrement glands of the pancreas and include proteus, peptidase, lipase, and amylase. So I do supplement sometimes patients of mine who maybe are missing a gallbladder or have digestive issues, you know, poor digestion of fats, we may put them on something like this. Specifically, if they've been on an acid-blocking medication like omeprazole for years, we put them on something to help support their acid production. Uh, let's see. Pancreatic exocrine insufficiency may be primary or secondary in nature. Any indication of insufficiency warrants further evaluation for underlying cause, i.e. celiac disease, small intestinal villus atrophy, small bowel bacterial overgrowth. Okay. A high functional need for digestive enzymes suggests that there is an impaired impairment related to digestive capacity. Hmm. Determining the strength of pancreatic enzyme support depends on the degree of functional impairment. Cell potency is based on the lipase units present in both prescriptive and non-prescriptive agents. So I don't really have any digestive issues that I've noticed. So I don't feel like I need to supplement with this. Even though it's showing that maybe I should, it's also suggesting that it's based off the symptoms, and I don't have digestive symptoms. Let's see, mitochondrial dysfunction. Let's see, mitochondria are the primary site of generation of reactive oxygen species. Oxidative damage is considered an important factor in the decline of physiologic function that occurs with aging and stress. Mitochondrial defects have been identified in cardiovascular disease, fatigue, syndromes, neurologic disorders, blah, blah, blah. So I'm doing okay in mitochondrial dysfunction. All right, I should be doing okay. I maxed out on NAD. Here it shows your entire Krebs cycle, like is fully wild, right? To see the whole Krebs cycle hacker. This is my Krebs cycle. Um, very cool. I think there's like an add-on test I could have added on here that can look at specifically like glutathione. I didn't actually get that looked at, which is, uh, but it did look at glutathione, so I'm not sure. Um, let's see, organic acids, that really breaks it down here into the individual ones. So for the most part, I'm doing okay. Now there's a couple ones I'd like to bring up if I can find them again in all this. Catecholamine markers, very cool. Serotonin markers. I love that they're looking at serotonin markers. Toxin and detoxification markers. Looks like I'm detoxifying pretty well. I have been uh, doing a little bit more, actually, uh, uh, what have I been doing? We're doing glutathione on occasion. Specifically, if I drink alcohol, I'll be taking glutathione just to help support my detoxification. And I'll take some extra vitamin C if I do that as well, and quercetin. Whenever I feel like, you know, I polluted my body a little bit more, I'll help support my detoxification system since it does look like it might need a little bit of support if I push myself over the edge with some alcohol, which I hate alcohol. It just makes me feel bad. I've lost the taste for it. It just doesn't taste good anymore. Okay, glyceric acid. Um, looked at this one. I was like, huh, why is the glyceric acid elevated here? And then I was looking into it. Glyceric acid is naturally found in sour milk. I am consuming raw kefir here. <laughs> I drink a lot of this stuff. I think that's why my glyceric acid is high. Creatinine is high as well. And that's going to be high in my blood test, which I'm going to be getting soon. And that's because I have, you know, high muscle mass, right? And I eat a lot of protein. My creatinine is always high. 
But for that, I'm going to be getting a cystatin C, and I'm going to describe that in my next uh, video analysis of my blood interpretation. Oxidative damage, it's pretty cool. Looks at methylation markers. Branch chain amino acids, so that's pretty cool. So I can see if I'm getting all my amino acids, which I should be doing. I mean, supplementing collagen, eating all of these meats. So, which shows that I am, you know, I'm pretty much in the green on all of these. Dietary peptide related markers. All right, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I saw that methylhistidine was quite high in me. So I went and started looking like, what is, what is methylhistidine? Um, yeah, dietary overlaid of anserin rich foods. And anserin rich foods are all of these meats, basically. Poultry, eel, pork, beef. So yeah, I'm maxed out on the anserin or the methylhistidine. Proline, I noticed, was a little bit on the lower end, so I was looking into, all right, what's going on with the proline? It's a non-essential amino acid, which I'm gonna have to look at where I can get proline more. Yeah, I'll have to look into that a little bit more. But most are doing pretty well, again, the creatine is high. And that's it. So that's the that's Genova Diagnostics Metabolomics test. It's very cool. Um, we can talk a little bit about their pricing list with Genova. I think I have their pricing list pulled up here. Here it is. So if we wanted to order any of these tests, all right, so here's the GIFX. That one looks at the microbiome. It's about $399. Um, and again, we can add on any additional tests too if we want to look at each pylori edition, $30. But it looks at a lot of parasites as well with the, the comprehensive profile. Mm, what else do we have here? They do a lot of... Their, their specialty is, I believe, is the metabolomics and their organic acid testing. That, that's where their specialty is. I have another company that really specializes in food sensitivity if you're interested in doing that. <clears throat> Nutri-Eval, so this one's a, a serum test and it looks at all of this plus other things. Pretty comprehensive, uh, $399. Metabolomics that I just got here, $299, uh, that's urine. You can add on the essential and metabolic fatty acids which I tried to do that, but I messed it up. I didn't put enough blood into the um, little card, so that was a waste. Um, let's see. What else do we here? Yes. They do a lot of stuff. I think their their flagship is the GI effects, the met, the um, microbiome analysis, and their metabolomics, which I just showed you here. Hormone health. I have another company. We want to do hormone testing because it's very cheap with access labs. Very great turnaround on those. So I don't do hormones with Genova. Um, endocrine, I don't do endocrine with Genova. I just do LabCorp for that. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Inflammatory markers, if you're looking at that, I'm, I have um, pulse, pulse test. You can look at my video that I just published uh, last week on the pulse test. That really looks at inflammatory markers. So <clears throat> that's Genova Diagnostics. Uh, hope you all enjoyed looking at my uh, organic acid testing. Um, see you next time.